Alright, hey there guys, DF15 here, and welcome to the next episode of Let's Play Danganronpa 2. In the last episode, we investigated Byakuya's death, and uh, now we're starting the class trial. Alright, Byakuya Togami was killed. The blue hue of our vacation is now a crimson red. Is the killer really one of us? Or is it someone else? The class trial starts now. Of course I'm not starting yet, because there's something I need to show off first. Well, first of all, you can change the difficulty on the, uh, on the screen. And actually, I'm, I am going to change the difficulty. I'm going to make it mean difficulty, because I've played the game before and I know what's going on. Anyway, new thing in the e-handbook. You know how you got skills from hanging out with people in the first game? Yeah, well, if you just go to the report card, you go to this little Usami icon over here, you can buy skills with the hope fragments you have. I have 19 hope fragments. God damn. So I'm gonna get Attentive Influence. I will also purchase Extraordinary Focus. A couple others I want too. Cool and com cool and Compose, definitely. I think I wanna get Upshift too. Actually, wait. What's Trigger Happy? No, I don't want Trigger Happy yet. Oh, I want Fine Sword. Fine Sword I'll take. And you know what, I, I, I will take up shift as well. Just to increase my aim speed. Alright, so, I hope I hope we can actually equip these all. How much SP do we have? 16. Equip those, equip that. Up shift. Oh, perfect. Oh no, I can't use a uh, Fine Sword. Um... I guess I don't really need upshift right now. So I'll, oh, I can't even use fine sword then. Cool and composed. I know I need that. Um, I don't think I'll be using the the uh, focus gauge all that much in this trial. So that I use upshift and I will put fine sword as well. Okay, that sounds good to me. So let's get started. Let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will earn the right to leave this island. S such a cruel rule. Before we begin, I'd like to confirm one thing. Is there really a killer among us? Most definitely! There's no doubt that the Blackened is lurking among you! Fantastic. Such a sad state of affairs, isn't it? Fuck you, Monokuma. By the way, this class trial is gonna be 100% fair, so there's no need to worry. I'm the type who hates favoritism and prejudice. Well, not as much as I hate Monami, of course. You hate me that much? Or Monami. Now, let's begin. Y you're telling us to begin, but what are we supposed to do? No complaining, let's just settle this with our fists. Were you even listening to the rules? <laughs> Didn't that Byakuya bastard get killed in the dining hall, huh? Then everyone there is a fucking suspect. Yeah, yeah, what you're really trying to say is that you're not the killer, right? No shit. You guys went off on your own and started killing each other. This has nothing to do with me. Huh? What does that mean? Anyway, why don't we try talking about the most pressing issue on our minds? Huh. The most pressing issue on our minds? Where we found the body. It's very strange to find a body underneath the table. Indeed. Then, let's start with that mystery. The reason why Byakuya's body was discovered under the dining hall table. We can start with that, but ultimately, we need to find out who murdered him. <laughs> if we can't do that... No. Thinking about if is a waste of time. We have to do this, no matter what. Alright, so, we are starting off with a good old-fashioned non-stop debate. Remember these from the first game? Uh, basically, you have to shoot a truth bullet at a weak point, but you can't just shoot all willy-nilly. Sometimes you'll have multiple truth bullets. You have to find the right one, find the right weak point. However, this first one, there's only one weak point. But in this game, they give you multiple uh, truth bullets to fire. Make your argument. 
Yeah, so you gotta be careful which one to use. And I, what I like about Danganronpa 2, you can change the truth bullet before the argument even starts. So it's really useful. So let's go with the blood stain under the table. Why was Byakuya's body? Oh yeah, there's only one weak point in this. You said it's a place like that. His body was underneath the table at the very back of the dining hall. After the killer murdered Byakuya, they probably moved the body there. No, that's wrong. Hajime. Johnny Young Bosch does actually a pretty good job with Hajime. I'm, I'm happy with it. No, I don't think the killer moved the body. Huh? Why? Try to remember what the body looked like when we found it under the table. Though there was a lot of blood everywhere, there was no sign the killer actually dragged the body through it. So that's why you think it's impossible that the killer moved the body. I see. I get your point. Oh, and here I thought I had a genius idea. Too bad you're so stupid and boring and unpopular. Your life is meaningless. Thank you for that, Hyoko. I respond better to praise, you know. <laughs> but if the killer didn't move the body, why was it under the table? Byakuya was probably killed under the table. What? You think he was killed under the table? I just said that, Nakamaru. So Byakuya snuck under the table for reasons unknown. And that's when he was killed. Then, shortly thereafter, we found his body under the table. Th that does make sense, but why did he go under the table? Obviously he was hiding so he could surprise us. That dude was always a big jokester. <laughs> I don't know about that, Akane. The hell he was? You seriously couldn't tell what kind of person he was? Hmm. Maybe he panicked during the blackout and dove under the table. Don't know what that would do, though. Still dark under there. It's a blackout, not an earthquake. Just because the power went out doesn't mean he'd dive under the table. The reason why is probably connected to what Byakuya was doing during the party, don't you think? The reason Byakuya dove under the table. It's connected to what Byakuya was doing it during the party. That's probably the knife. I can prove it with this! It probably has something to do with the knife we found under the table. Knife? Oh! You mean that thing that obviously screams, I am the murder weapon! <laughs> oh, Ibuki. Byakuya probably noticed the knife was hidden there. So in order to get it, he moved under the table. He was particularly sensitive to the presence of dangerous items, so I cannot deny that possibility. But how did he notice that there was a knife under the table? If he knew beforehand, he probably would have done something about it before the blackout, right? Then, instead of knowing about it beforehand, maybe he saw it right at that moment. Like, for example, he might have seen someone trying to take the knife out from under the table. No. That's not possible. What? You seem rather confident about that. I believe it may be possible, Paco. Of course. I have proof to back me up. <laughs> this is almost like a real trial! Shut up, Monokuma. Yeah, now there's multiple weak spots. And focusing, yeah, that's a thing too. Stupid narrator. Alright, we need here the night vision goggles. I'm sure Byakuya ducked under the table. Yes. During the blackout. That sounds correct. If that's the case... During the blackout, Mr. Ham Hands... Must have seen the killer take the knife. But it was super pitch black! It was so dark I couldn't see my food! No one cares. Byakuya couldn't see in the dark either. Nope. No, that's wrong! <laughs> Not true, Pekko. No, Byakuya was probably the only one who was able to see in the dark. Why do you say that? If he was using those night vision goggles we found under the table, he could have seen what was happening. So... Are you saying Byakuya was the one who used those night vision goggles? Yeah, that seems to be the case. Your reasoning is out of focus! No, that's obviously wrong. It should be the other way around. The other way around? C, 
Seriously? The killer used those night vision goggles, not Byakuya. Well, guys, here we have a new mechanic. <sighs> Fuck you, narrator. Yeah, he was surprised. <laughs> anyway, yes, as he's saying now, we'll have a rebuttal showdown. I'll explain it myself. Rebuttal showdown, basically, whoever argued against us is going to come up with an argument. We have to slice away at the words with a... Uh, I forget what it's called, I think sharpness. For whatever reason they call it sharpness, not blades. Um, and then when we do that, we'll be able to advance the argument in our favor, which will cause the opponent to probably panic, which will cause the opponent to panic a little, and it'll draw out weak spots in their argument. When we see a weak spot, all we gotta do is pull out a truth blade, which is pretty much the truth bullet, slice apart the weak spot. So it's like a uh, non-stop debate, just kinda different. Alright, so here we go. You guys can see it in action. Bottle showdown. We need the Duralumin case. If you just use cover killer, obviously use those night vision, that's gotta be it. See, it's pretty easy. Where's your proof that the killer used them? Well, again, this is the first one. Because if they used night, then they could have killed Byakuya even in the in reality. That's so those goggles were planned in advance. The killer brought them to the crime scene. Nope. Allow me to cut through those words! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I like the rebuttal show, no, it's fun. Yakuya was definitely <laughs> the one who brought those night vision goggles. Definitely? But why? Inside the Duralumin case Byakuya had with him during the party, we found a smaller case for storing the night vision goggles. Yep, yep. Which means we can assume that the night vision goggles were kept inside that Duralumin case as well. Thank you, Ibuki. Woohoo! I said assume! Ibuki never uses such clever language. <laughs> Plus, Byakuya was the only one who could have taken the night vision goggles out of the case, since he was carrying it around before the blackout in the first place. I see. When you put it like that, it makes sense. Exactly. Then, was that knife inside the case too? If there were night vision goggles inside, it wouldn't be weird for a knife to be in there, too. It would be weird. I am weird, aren't I? At times like this, I'd rather be fantasizing about tonight's main dish. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Terry Terry. Ew! You totally mean that in a perverted way! <laughs> the knife was brought in the Duralumin case along with the night vision goggles, too? No, that's not possible. I was hidden in the dining hall before the party even started. Yeah, it's a duct tape. I see! Not tonight's main dish. There was duct tape <laughs> left under the table where the body was found. Huh? Duct tape? They probably hid the knife by duct taping it to the underside of the table. Oh, so that's why we found duct tape there. Though Byakuyo was thorough, even he couldn't have noticed a weapon taped to the underside of the table. This may be off topic. But why was Byakuya acting so paranoid? Not only did he bring a self-defense kit, but he had night vision goggles inside the case too. That's true. He went above and beyond being a little cautious. Now that you mention it, that applies to the dangerous items he confiscated as well. Goddamn, my recording hardware is just overheating right now. It's one it's thing to be good. a little cautious, but performing a body check is a bit much. He probably <laughs> knew. Someone was planning to commit a murder. Yep. Are you saying he predicted the murder? Could it be? Was he also in possession of the all-seeing eye? Oh, Gundam. You think so too, right, Hajime? Yes. That's right, Byakuya probably knew there was a possibility that a murder would occur. It's because of the murder threat. I can prove it with this! Everyone, can you please take a look at this? Careful, the first kill will happen tonight. Someone will definitely kill someone. Hey, the hell is this? Hajime and I found this in Byakuya's cottage. It looks like a threatening letter someone sent for him. So, who's the someone? Nobody besides Monokuma would write such a dumb, threatening letter like that. <laughs> Wasn't me! Are you sure? The only lies I tell are friendly lies! That's better. Those are still lies! It doesn't matter who wrote it yet. So, Yakuya became paranoid because of this threatening letter? He probably decided to throw a party because of the letter. What do you mean? 
by gathering everyone in one place. He tried to create a situation where everyone could keep tabs on each other. Yep. In doing so, he tried to put the writer of the letter in a situation where they couldn't act. But the letter might have been just a little prank. As long as he was determined not to let any of us die, he couldn't take that risk. His strong sense of responsibility made him believe the letter was legitimate. Oh, he should have told us he received a threatening letter. If he had, we would have panicked. Byakuya probably knew that too. So, he tried to do something about it without telling anyone? I see. Strong sense of responsibility as our leader was his undoing. Screw that noise! Who the hell wrote that letter? We knew we wouldn't be going through this, Akane. Well, obviously, the killer. The killer. Is it really one of us? Who is it? Among us, who's the one who killed Byakuya? <laughs> Enough already! Show yourself, you coward! If they were willing to come forward, they never would have committed a murder in the first place! Good point. But I still can't believe it. Someone in this room killed Bianca. There's no way I can believe that. Um, pardon me. Can I say something, please? What is it, Miss Sonia? I regret that I must return to this topic, but... I just realized something concerning the night vision goggles. If Byakuya was indeed wearing those goggles, how did the killer manage to navigate in the dark? You're right. They wouldn't have been able to see anything without the night vision goggles. But if the murderer had the goggles when they took the knife, then how did Byakuya see them? Even if the knife bore some sort of mark, it would have been difficult to see it in that darkness. Would it have? Kill used a mark, and they were able to... The, 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 I see! Like, Get the knife one. What if the glowing pink was the mark? With that, you'd be able to get the knife even in the dark. In actuality, the knife we found under the table and the duct tape stuck to the underside of the table were both marked with glowing paint, right? Does that mean the killer painted them in advance? But painting them with glowing paint? It's as if they knew the blackout was going to happen. They had to have already known. That's why they use the glowing paint as a mark. Yep. Which means, whoever set up the blackout is the killer. That seals it. The killer is whoever was in the office with the circuit breaker. Oh dear. Which means it was you, Peko Peko Yama! Kazuichi, weren't you saying this before? <gasps> Peko killed poor Byakuya? Was this island not big enough for two glasses wearers? <laughs> oh, we bookie. I'm not the killer. Oh, I guess she's not. How can you believe her so easily? But, but with Echo's height, I don't think she'd be able to reach the circuit breaker in the office. I don't care about a technicality like that. Echo's the one who tripped the breaker and caused the blackout. What do you mean technicality? That's a fact, man. By tripping the breaker in the front, directly from the office, Echo was the one who caused the blackout. Is that really what happened? Anyway. Now we're going to have blue-colored weak spots in the non-stop debates. These are agree spots. If you hit a truth bullet, that can uh, support the argument that the blue spot is making, then you'll uh, agree with someone and the conversation will move forward. So yes, and make sure you check your logic. Ooh, heating up. We need Nekamaru's account. Since Pekka was in the office, she could have caused the blackout at any time! That's impossible. Huh? Why is it impossible? Because I was not in the office. Not even before the blackout. Agree. I agree with that! No, I think Pekka was telling the truth. Yep. Mm-hmm. Don't tell me you're crushing on Pekko. No. And yet it's nothing like that at all. Nekomaru's account is actually Pekko's alibi. That's right. It's true. Someone was occupying the bathroom for a long time shortly after the party started. And it was finally freed up after Byakuya's body was discovered. 
Then the person who was in the bathroom that whole time was actually... Everyone else besides Pekka was in the dining hall after the party started, right? I see. So there's no way anybody else could have locked themselves in the bathroom except Pekka. I... I guess that would be... true. Oh. You locked yourself in the commode? You should have said so earlier! There's no way she'd actually say that. Gosh, you are so insensitive. If she locked herself in the bathroom for that long, there's no doubt. It's shit. <laughs> oh, there's no way she'd admit it. There's no way she'd admit she was taking a shit. God damn it, Nakamaru. You and your shits. Hey, were you guys taught any basic manners, or were you raised in a locker room? I have to agree with Mahira on this one. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's fine. How about we stop talking about this and move on to something else? Don't worry. The smell wasn't that strong. I used the bathroom right after you, so you can trust me. How much she's talking about, Nakamaru? I, I said it's fine. But still, you were in the bathroom for a really long time. Did you get food poisoning or something? As soon as I stepped into the office, I felt this sudden rush of pain in my stomach. Because of that, I was unable to leave the bathroom, including when the blackout occurred. Hey, how did it feel to do your business in the dark? Did you get excited? Fuck, man. Seriously, stop it. Gotta agree with Hajime on that one. <laughs> Seriously. Stop it. But still, your stomach pain. Was that really just a coincidence? Hey, what's the deal? Don't butt into other people's business, especially if you didn't do any investigating. <laughs> I'm only butting in because you fucking idiots are out of your element. Stop this childish nonsense. Just what do you mean by coincidence? What I mean is, is it possible someone slipped her some laxatives? Laxatives? If so, the killer could have tripped the breaker as soon as that girl left the office, don't you think? I see. That might have happened. The question is whether Peko's stomachache was a coincidence, or if someone intentionally caused it. Depending on the answer, the outcome of this trial could change drastically. Alright. This one we are going to need. The party dishes. Did you eat anything weird? I don't remember eating anything weird. Now that you mention it... You brought food to the office, right? Just a little bit from the dining hall. There might have been some laxatives in it, don't you think? Nope. No, that's wrong! No, it's impossible that laxatives were slipped into the food in the dining hall. Because Pekka wasn't the only one who ate that food. Akane ate some of it too. If the food had laxatives in it, I'm pretty sure Akane would have had stomach issues as well. Yeah, after how much she fucking just swallowed. Ugh. I feel totally fine. As expected. Like I said, the, the dishes are innocent. Don't go making weird accusations. You're insulting his children, man. I apologize for causing a scene. Fuyuhiko should apologize, not you. He's the one who made the laxative accusation. What the fuck did you say, bitch? Cease this bickering! <laughs> Let's just dismiss Peko's stomachache as a coincidence and go back to discussing the blackout. Yeah, yeah. We already know that, you trashy skank. You don't have to tell us. T trashy skank? Formica. As long as the murder happened during the blackout, then the blackout itself is what's actually important. So we need to make it clear how that blackout occurred. Change true colors Who for took once. the breaker and how did they do it? If you can't answer that, I'm gonna bop you on the head. I'm gonna bop you on the did head. Did they throw a stone and hit it? No. Maybe they used a remote control? How? They probably messed with the breaker. Couldn't. It does not have to be the breaker. They may have tampered with the power supply and transmitters. Or maybe they caused a power surge? I agree with that! It's just 
just as Mahiru said. The blackout was caused by a power surge. Of course, that's not a coincidence. Someone caused it intentionally. I love how he delivers that line. Someone caused it intentionally. <laughs> Sounds so fucking suspenseful. Someone caused it intentionally. Which is why those three irons were arranged to cause the blackout. When you found them right after the blackout, the irons were still on, right? So by leaving those irons on in the storage room, they deliberately caused a power surge. Yeah, it seems that's how the killer caused the blackout. Stupid fool! Oh god, Nakamaru. Stupid fool. Hold on a second, let me speak too! What the heck? <laughs> You say the irons in the storage room were used to trigger the blackout? That's inexcusable! Alright, Nekamaru. It almost, it almost looks like Hajime and Nekamaru have like different art styles. <laughs> I mean, if the fun. irons in the storage room caused the and for the killer to turn the irons on, you're saying they went all the way to the storage room? Then that means everyone who was in the, when the blackout occurred can't be a suspect. Nope. No, just because people were in the dining hall doesn't mean they're not a suspect. But the people in the dining hall weren't able to cut if the irons caused the blackout. Allow me to cut through those words. <laughs> I love those. The irons are just one reason Sorry. the blackout occurred, but they weren't the direct trigger. The direct trigger was when the air conditioners in the dining hall and office clicked on. The air conditioners! The timers for both air conditioners were set to 11.30 p.m. 11.30 p.m.? Mr. Ham Ham's died around that time, too! I see. When the timers activated the air conditioners, the breaker was tripped and caused a blackout. I see! I understand! Indubitably! Indubitably? <laughs> oh, Sonia. They probably checked the old building's energy usage in advance and use the irons to nearly max it out. So once they set the air conditioner's timers, they just had to wait until they started up on their own. If so, even if Pekka was in the office, it still would have been possible to cause a blackout, indubitably. Indubitably. Indubitably? Miss Sonia, not you too. <laughs> Regarding the energy usage, they probably asked Monokuma about it. Dun dun dun! Damn it, Monokuma. Is she right? Such a hateful bear. You deserve to die a thousand deaths. A thousand, you say? If I died that many times, I might really stay dead, you know? Good. Shut up! You guys just stay quiet! Quiet in the peanut gallery. <laughs> I couldn't have prevented the blackout even if I was in the office. Even so, I feel regret. If I was in the office, I could have reset the breaker in time. And maybe the murder wouldn't have occurred. Wouldn't have happened, Pekka. It's too high for you to reach. No. The breaker in the office was built into a high area of the wall that's impossible to reach. Resetting the breaker in that darkness would have been impossible. No matter what. Sounds like you don't need to blame yourself. Even so, the killer is so sly. I'm starting to worry we may never actually find them. It's alright. You don't have to worry, because they're just a petty killer, right? They can't defeat symbols of hope like you guys. Huh? There's no way everybody will lose now. This little incident will just be a stepping stone for you all. Nagito. In the end, hope always wins. That's what I believe. N Nagito? W what happened to you? Huh? What do you mean? Well... You have been saying this whole time that there's no way a killer could be among us. Oh, is that so? Well, let's just put that minor detail aside for now and talk about the incident. For now, we found out how the blackout occurred. But the question is, who caused it, right? Anybody could have hid and set the timers for the air conditioners. Setting up the irons in the storage room could have been done before Byakuya set foot in the old building. What a shame. Any one of us is capable of that. What are you implying? <laughs> He's just saying, after all this time, we still haven't made any progress. Huh? Even though we have been arguing for so long? Unfortunately, yep. 
it's the truth. Despite the fact that we've discussed this at length, there's not even one clue that leads to the killer. But that might be because there's no way any of us could be a killer. You keep changing your tune pretty fast, Nagito. You, you're changing your story again? Anyway, I have an idea about what we all should do at this point. Has anyone thought about our situation like this? Instead of surviving by doubting others, isn't it better to get killed for believing in others? The hell, Nagito. Doesn't that mean... Are you saying we should all just give up and die? Nagito, there's definitely something wrong with you. <laughs> you guys only think there's something wrong with me because there's something wrong with you. No. Suspecting each other like this. There's no way that's healthy behavior. Let's stop this already. We don't have to find out who the killer is! What the hell, Nagito? I can't stand this anymore! I don't want to do this to my friends! I... I don't want to do this either. <laughs> me too! Please! Take me home already! <laughs> I want to go home and eat candy! Stop it. If everyone acts like this, I... I'm gonna... Everyone calm down. We're all friends. Aren't we? There's no way one friend would murder another. Then why did Byakuya die? Who cares? Let's just give up already. There are no clues that lead to the killer anyway. Not a single one. I'm not liking this Nagito. That's wrong. Hey, Chiaki. I think. <laughs> the best catchphrase. I, I think. Just put that on the end of everything you say and see how people react. I think. Did you say something? Cause we've already found a clue that might point to who the killer is. Okay. Would this clue happen to be blue? No, I'm kidding. You know who the uh. killer is? <clears throat> anyway. Yeah, the killer! The killer? I don't know. But we do have a clue about a suspicious person. I think. Do we? I see. Then care to tell me, what's this clue you're talking about? First of all, let's try thinking about how the killer was able to obtain the knife during the blackout. Didn't we already cover that? They use glowing paint as a mark. No, not that. I mean before that. Before? Is she asking how the killer got close to that table? You can not obtain the knife by relying on the glow from the paint, or can do that. They needed to get close to the table while it was still dark. Let's try examining the situation. My hero's diagram might be useful here. Indeed. The diagram of where everyone was standing before the blackout, right? Um, here it is! Just as I thought, this diagram is the clue. Who the killer is and how they're able to move the table move to the table in the dark. That's clearly shown in this diagram. First we need to discuss how the killer was able to move to that table in the dark. The killer probably used something to help them move in the dark. The killer used the lamp. Here! must have used the desk lamp to move to that table in the dark. The desk lamp? I hope you don't mean they turned on a light or something. There was a blackout. There's no way the killer could have used the desk lamp. Of course there's no way that used the desk lamp's light. The killer actually used the power cord. I can prove it with this! They didn't turn the desk lamp on. They used its power cord. <laughs> They could have felt their way to that table using the power cord, right? By doing that, the killer was able to move to the table and use the glowing paint to find the knife. And there's only one person here who could have done that. Yep. The person closest to the power cord. Ooh. The only person here could have possibly done it. Someone who's been acting suspicious this entire trial so far. Nagito! You're the only one! 
Nagito, it was you, wasn't it? M me Judging from everyone's positions before the blackout, the only person near the power cord was you. Which means, the only one who could have felt their way to the table using the power cord was... Nagito! <laughs> That's just a coincidence! Is it now? But still, you had a chance, right? A chance to hide the knife under the table? I guess chance to hide under the knife under the table. The table was when he was clean. Right? I see! Nagito, weren't you cleaning the dining hall all morning? If so, you would have had a chance to hide the knife. That's... If you factor in the power cord and the time you spent cleaning, you're the only one who could have done it. Seriously! That's all just a coincidence! If it was just one coincidence, it'd be fine. But when it's one right after another... Yep. I wonder... Is something like that even possible? Could it be? Did you give yourself cleaning duty on purpose so you could hide the knife under the table? Now that you mention it, Nagito did prepare the drawing to pick who cleaned the dining hall. You rigged the drawing, didn't you? That's how you got picked to clean the dining hall, isn't it? Nagito. I don't know if you're the killer or not, but regardless, it proves that you're suspicious, right? If that's the case, that strange speech you made earlier, that was part of your plan, too. You got us to lower our guard and tried to hide the fact that you did it, didn't you, you motherfucker? Well, just admit it already! <laughs> Nagito, tell me you object to this. Frankly, I don't want to believe it either. We investigated together. You were so kind. I can't believe you're the one who killed Byakuya. <laughs> Nagito, say something! Prepare yourselves. The ultimates are working together to combat the despair of their friend's death! Ah, how wonderful! How beautiful it is! Huh? Nagito was crazy. Those eyes. At that moment, Nagito's eyes. The darkness in his eyes shone brightly, as if layers upon layers of darkness were folding into each other. As if hope and despair had been crudely mixed together. Let's cut to the chase! You're correct! It was my doing all along! I'm the one who hid the knife under the table before the party started. I'm the one who used the power cord to find my way to the table in the dark. And of course, I'm the one who caused the blackout. After all, there's no way I'd knowingly whip out a knife in front of everyone. Right. Uh, is it just me, or does he seem a little nuts right now? But I never expected Byakuya to have night vision guns. Because of that, we had ourselves a little scuffle under the table. And, well, you all saw how that played out. But with a twist ending like this, I think we can all agree this ended up being a very interesting mystery. I can tell one fucked up dude. <laughs> Byakuya performed admirably. Sh just stop it already! Seriously! What the hell happened to you? Don't tell me. Is this your true nature? Were you lying to us this entire time? Me? Lie? That's outrageous! There's no way someone like me could ever lie to you guys. I understand better than anyone else that I'm ultimately worthless. Too arrogant to have dreams or cling to hope. Too disdainful to actually try at anything. I've made peace with the fact that I'm a lowly, stupid, insignificant human who can't do anything right. God damn this guy.
Oh, and just so you guys know, I don't like Nagito all that much. Since, you know, he's shown his true self now, I can talk about it. I don't like Nagito. He's an asshole. I don't care if some of you are fangirls or fanboys for him, if you're gay for him, whatever, I don't care. I don't like him. He's an asshole. Holy crap! He's totally the type of guy who spent his childhood killing neighborhood pets! And that's most likely true, too. He seems like the sort of person whose eyes light up while watching Friday the 13th. Just like me. <laughs> God damn it, Sonya. That's quite the hobby you have there. But, like, now's not really the time to bring it up. This guy. Is he? Is he the real Nagito? Hey, Nagito! If you were behind all of this, then did you also send that threatening letter? Yep. I sure did. There's nobody else on this island whose handwriting is that painful to look at, right? But why would you send a threatening letter in the first place? I think... somewhere deep in my heart. I was probably hoping to find someone who would stop my evil deeds. What the fuck, man? Well, I bet if that really was my reason, at least some of you would feel sorry See, for me. he's a fucking dick. Are you making fun of us? By threatening Yakuya, Nagito was likely able to manipulate his actions. In doing so, Nagito was able to manipulate everyone to the scene where the murder would occur. Am I wrong? That reminds me. Nagito was the one who suggested I guard the office. Yep. I don't like you, Nagito. the storage room, Nagito wouldn't have been able to use the irons. Yep. The threatening letter, along with all your suggestions, it was all a trap to manipulate us. Yep, that's true too. But you're wrong about one thing. Uh, huh? What? I didn't need to rig the drawing for cleaning duty, you know? If that's true, then how did you conveniently get picked for cleaning duty? Not that hard to figure out, Mahiro. I see. Well, there's no way I'd expect you to remember it. A worthless talent for a worthless human. Nagito's talent? I believe his talent is... <laughs> That's my baby face. No. I see! The ultimate lucky student. You're the ultimate lucky student? Then... Did you? That's right. I just trusted my luck. I trusted I'd be picked for cleaning duty. Sick son of a bitch. You just relied on your luck? It's not just luck. It's true my talent sucks. But I'm still the ultimate lucky student, you know? At the time, Hajime said I wasn't lucky, but it was actually the opposite. I was lucky. That's why I got picked for cleaning duty. Just... That, uh, Enough. That... I, I don't care about that anymore. More importantly, why did you kill Byakuya? Answer me! Byakuya was a very capable leader. For someone like him to get killed? It's only fitting that you symbols of hope should use his death as a stepping stone to shine even brighter. That was my only motivation. God damn. You're not making any sense! <laughs> Fine. Let's start the damn vote already. I'm ready to fucking kill this psycho. Please! Monokuma! Please, wait! Become? Huh? The fuck? Um... Um... How should I put this? Um, is Nagito really the 
Huh. Um, what are you saying? He's already confessed, hasn't he? I, I already know that, but... Um, there's just something a little strange. If it's only a little, then keep your mouth shut. Your ugly face is stressing me out. It makes me want to puke. No, no, Hyoko. Calm down. <laughs> I'm sorry! Um, for now, might I suggest we listen to what she has to say? <laughs> but we know who the killer is. Still can't hurt to listen. Simply listening is acceptable. Exactly, Gundam. However, I won't allow this to end with mere play. Now then, let us lift the curtain for our bloody spectacle. Indeed. A bloody spectacle. Spectacle? Spectacle, and now white noise. And we can't even destroy it yet. Which is kind of stupid, but oh well. Yeah, there's white noise again. Do we need Mikan's autopsy results? I, I think it's strange that... The killer is so obviously Nagito! Oh, what am I doing? I'm trying to shoot down uh, the white noise, even though I said... Like, seconds ago. Oh, you he has already it. confessed. That bastard Nagito is the one who did it! He killed Byakuya with a knife he did! No, that's wrong! Damn it, he go. That knife might not be the murder weapon. That's what you wanted to say, right, Nikon? What the hell are you talking about? It's obvious the knife was the murder weapon. But, uh, based on the entry of things on Byakuya's body, the actual weapon should be roughly five millimeters in diameter. Five millimeters in diameter? That's like way skinnier than a knife! Hey, that better be true. If you screwed up, I'll sell your fucking ass to a whorehouse! Fuck, man. <laughs> not a whorehouse! Mikan did nothing wrong. Hey, why are you threatening her? Is this what you're trying to say, Mikan? As long as we can't prove that the knife is the murder weapon. You can't assume that I'm the killer. What are you saying? No one else can be the killer. It has to be you. Hey, don't blame me. Mikan's the one who said it. I'm sorry. Fuck you, Nagito. Hey, Nagito. Are you still hiding something? Uh, hiding? Like, during the blackout. Did something happen between you and Byakuya that we don't know about? <sighs> Who knows? Fuck you. After all this, what else do you intend to hide? Jeez, the moment your back's against the wall, you get all silent. You piss me off! I can agree with that, Hyoko. What happened during the blackout? Hmm... <laughs> oh! If you cross your eyes like this, it gives you double vision! Thank you for this ingenious breakthrough, Ibuki. Double vision. Case closed. We're done. Don't get distracted! Our lives are at stake, you know? <laughs> huh? Whose life is at stake? Oh my god, Akane. Seriously, how long is it gonna take for you to understand the damn rules? Nobody can see in the dark. No matter how hard you think about it, the truth is beyond your sight. That's supposed to be a pun. It's not funny. Don't you think that's a pretty clever metaphor. metaphor? Despite the fact that it came from me? No. No. Because it came from you, it sucks. No, that's not it. Not it? What's not it? Just beyond our sight? No, that can't be it. There should be some way to find out what happened in the dark. A certain someone. I can prove it with this! Even if we couldn't see what happened in the dark, I'm pretty sure someone could have heard it. Isn't that right, Ibuki? Oh, reels? Yes, faux reels. Don't act so surprised. You were the one who told me, remember? How everyone was shouting during the blackout? Uh, everyone, calm down! We gotta stay calm in a situation like this! Ah, don't step on my feet! What the hell? What's going on here? This is... Ow! Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! You guys? Where are you? W wasn't the blackout 
Just in the kitchen? Perhaps the breaker overloaded? Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. Such perceptive hearing. Impressive. I'd expect no less from the ultimate musician. Why are you acting so impressed? You already heard this, you dumbass. It's a good thing your ears are awesome because your face, style, figure, and personality totally suck. <laughs> Shut up, Yoko. <laughs> You've cut me deep with your knife of truth! Buki, no. No. However, after hearing what Byakuya and Nagito said in the dark... What the hell? What's going on here? This is... Ow! It almost sounds like... Byakuya fought back against Nagito or something. It does. Well, that's actually what happened. Huh? As a sign of respect for Ibuki's talent, I have a small confession to make. I was actually shoved out from under the table by Byakuya. He shoved you out? Just as the blackout occurred, I hurried to duck under the table and grab the knife. But Byakuya, wearing his night vision goggles, caught me and shoved me right out from under the table. That's right. I'm so incompetent that I couldn't even grab the knife. No one gives a fuck about your incompetency. So, Byakuya stopped when he was trying to get the knife. And he got shoved out from under the table before he could even grab it? Well, it sounds plausible. I mean, just from listening to what they both said at the time. What the hell? What's going on here? Play like a million times. This is. Ow! I can interpret it like that. No, actually, as I think about it, it sounds like exactly what happened. After getting shoved out from under the table, I was just as confused as you guys. I lost sight of the glowing paint. I didn't even know where the power cord was. Before I realized it, the lights had come back on, and Yakuya's body was lying under the table. Huh, hold on! Are you saying you're not the killer? From the very beginning, the idea to throw a party, hiding the knife, setting up the blackout, it was all going according to plan. But unfortunately, my plan failed. And all thanks to Byakuya's night vision goggles. What happened after that? Even I don't know. You failed? Th then you're not the one who killed Byakuya? So we're basically back to square one. Then we're right back to square one! Exactly. How can that be? We spent all this time talking back and forth! Meaninglessness. What other word is brimming with so much despair? You, quiet. But you can't give up. You need to have hope. Do your best and move forward. Rising to the challenge again and again is why you guys are the symbols of hope. Is Nagito really not the killer? Is this guy really the Nagito I knew before? No. There's no way I can say that. I just thought I knew him. But this whole time, I didn't know anything about this guy. I didn't know his true character. It's as simple as that. But now's not, not the time for me to dwell on that. We need to find Byakuya's killer by any means possible. Because if we don't, we... We will die here! And we got a little break now. Well now! Now that the class trial has reached, reached its climax, but... Okay, here's a question for you. What's this? To those of you who have figured out who it is, how about you try out the Guess the Killer Challenge? Whoever fails to guess the right killer will have their save data melt away like butter. If you guess right, I'll reward you ten billion dollars. Ten billion? Of course, for those of you who don't know the, who the killer is, you can just continue on. Now then, what are you gonna do? And of course, this is a troll, because both X and Circle just advance the text. Just kidding, you can't make a choice. There's no way you'd be able to guess who the killer is. <laughs> and of course, there's no ten billion dollars either! You're so evil! Villain, you truly are a villain. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna take a little break here. But when we come back, we will be 
going into the next half of the first trial. I will see you guys then.